Inky Pinky Funky, Daddy bought the donkey, Donkey dies, Daddy cries, Inky Pinky Funky. Amid protests and utter chaos in the parliament, the Telecommunications Bill 2023 was introduced in the Lok Sabha today. The bill has retained overbroad colonial, privacy infringing surveillance powers that will directly impact you. It allows the government to surveil and seize your communication devices, shut down your internet, break your beloved end to end encryption, and may even impact your ability to stay anonymous online, all at the cost of your privacy. What was supposed to be a reformative modern act meant to consolidate colonial legislations is now a merely repackaged version that is equally concerning, if not more. We're in 2023, but we're still hanging on to our 1885 draconian legacy bill that is in no sense right-centric. The 2023 Telecom Bill also repackages one of the most contested provisions from its 2022 counterpart, that is licensing while allowing union government to retain the same centralized overbroad powers. Definitional ambiguity fails to give clarity on whether internet services such as messages and email comes under its ambit or not. Without this clarity, it is extremely difficult to foresee the impact on user rights. A bill of such significance was added to the supplementary list of business at the 11th hour. Such last minute introductions and changes deteriorate parliamentary conduct. Whether it is the broadcasting bill infringing on your right to free expression, the surprise bulldoze introduction of the telecom bill enabling and empowering state surveillance, or the rumored impending rules under the disappointing Digital Personal Data Protection Act. In the face of the 2024 general elections, our digital liberties are under a direct attack from all directions. It is now more important to stand up and fight for our fundamental rights online. But we can't do this without you. In 2023, we face a massive gap of 23 lakhs between our income and expenditure. This puts us in a tough position as more enormous challenges mount against our digital liberties. This exhaustive gap means we can't sustain our campaigns, we can't grow and take on ever-mounting challenges to our free, open and safe internet for all. The Internet Freedom Foundation has been a people's movement since day zero. The unwavering support of everyday citizens allows us to continue speaking truth to power in these challenging times. But we can't do this without... Without whom, Ashnesh? Without whom? Without you. Yes. Thoda niche le lo usko. Yeah.